Hey everybody, it's been a while since the last video. Uh, exactly about... Three months? Okay, but I can explain myself, it's all my fault. It all started when I watched the first episode of Gintama. How naive I was thinking that this comedy series was harmless. I didn't feel it at first, but a force started to grow stronger. A sinister, malignant force that only grew from episode to episode. People always anecdote upon how many episodes it took for them to find Gintama funny. For years, I had no idea how there was such a spectrum when it came to the comedy getting good in this show. But now I understand. The point where Gintama gets funny for each person varies because everyone has a different tolerance to its psychic grasp. For me, it didn't take long at all. Hideki Sorachi trapped me in a Ludovico-esque machine and I watched multiple episodes of Gintama every day for months. My brain quickly became irreparably damaged from a condition I can only name Gintama Brain. This state of mind can only result from prolonged exposure to the same fucking gags for 300 episodes. I realized that there is a reason that the suggestion at the start of each episode to watch at a distance with the lights on was not a suggestion at all, but a warning. One time, I forgot to watch my daily episodes and when I slept, my distorted mind created an entirely new Gintama episode where Gintoki was at his birthday party but everyone at the celebration didn't even acknowledge his appearance there. When I sleep, I can't escape. One time, I was at the supermarket and I overheard someone talking about hemorrhoids and I nearly burst out laughing. When I'm awake, I can't escape. I was watching the television and an advertisement with a bartender started and I felt horror envelop me as the exact pose the bartender was doing took me back to episode 161 where Kondo is doing the exact same thing. I can't run, I can't hide, all I think about is Gintama. The songs I listen to are all Gintama openings and endings. Every visual I see in real life, bananas, mayonnaise, glasses, cars, the sky, animal, trees, everything, everywhere, it's all a Gintama reference. That's why I'm uploading this, to warn those who might make the same mistake as me. Gintama will consume your life if you let it. Don't let your guard down, be aware that it's trying to make you feel safe. That's when it strikes and never lets go. You become a prisoner to Sorachi's asylum, and the only way out is to finish the show. But anyway, it's almost my designated Gintama viewing session time, so I have to leave you guys. Let me just play this random tape I found digging around in my garage. That'll keep you entertained while I manically cheer whenever Takasugi appears on screen for a split second. So now that we know the entire history of the Taisho period, we can move on to part 2 of understanding Tanjiro Kamado, the history of charcoal burners in Japan. Charcoal is a wood that is carbonized by partial burning with a small flow of air. Generally there are two types of charcoal within Japan, Kurozumi, black charcoal, and Shirozumi, white charcoal. Kurozumi is soft and easy to ignite and can burn hard enough for smelting and blacksmith. Trojan X! Trojan X! The new series by critically acclaimed creator of Tokyo Ghoul strikes again. Ashida Sui is in top form with this manga. The art, gorgeous. The characters, amazing. amazing. The story, tantalizing. It has waffles. It has husbandos. Need I say more? Why aren't you looking up Chojin X right now? now? 
Load up Munger Plus and start reading. If you don't trust my word on it, why don't we hear a testimonial from an avid manga reader like you? This is John one week before reading Trojan X. Man, I'm so bored. I wish I had an amazing series to binge read and tell my friends about. If only there was something being serialized right now that I would love. Now let's check on John a few days after reading all released chapters of Chojin X. Hey guys, it's John here. Just sending this message to this lovely infomercial for giving me the opportunity to read Chojin X. I love Chojin X. I wish I could read it all again for the first time. I will keep reading Chojin X and purchase the English volumes when they are localized. I will tell my friends about Chojin X and tell them to read it as well. I love Chojin X. I love Chojin X. I love- Okay, I think we get the picture, John. So what are you all waiting for? Hurry up and read the manga that is sweeping the nation. The first listeners to call 1-800-TOKYO will not only get the first chapter free, but also a one-to-one scale Chojin syringe. Join John and many others like him by becoming a fan of Chojin X today. No, seriously, uh, read Chojin X. It's like really good.